All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Starting a new series. We are going to be playing single player Tarkov. Let's pick a random face and a random voice. Game plan is simple. Uh, we're doing zero to hero, starting out with only a knife. We're not using the market. We're not using insurance. We can only use the traders. And we can't use a pouch. Uh, game plan is pretty simple. Let's go have fun with it. See how far we can get into the game. I'm going to treat this as if you've played Tarkov before. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding any of my actions, please let me know down below. Uh, so, so we got shortage. We need to find Salewas. And then for Prapper, we got to kill dudes, right? Kill five guys and get two MP133 shotguns. So let's start loading in. I'm going to start. Of course, it's pissing rain. Fuck me. That means it's going to be dark as shit. Uh, starting on customs is very, everyone starts on customs. Start on woods, just to change it up a little bit. Um, we can mess with the game settings. So this is very similar to online Tarkov, except obviously no cheaters, no online players. There are PMCs, but they are AI. Um, you can mess with all of the settings that you possibly want to do. Um, I'm going to hit random weather conditions on this one, so that way maybe it won't be raining, just because it's not fun to look at for you guys. Uh, we're going to keep everything the same. Um, the only thing that I have seen that is an issue, and I'm not sure if this is just my bad luck, but the last few times I've played, I've ran into a boss every time I've had this checked. So we're going to uncheck it for now. Um, we'll have it checked for some other raids. I'm going to look into it and just see if that is something that is a feature they're planning on bringing in, like with the boss pick feature, or if they're, if it's just on and off. Maybe kill a scab, maybe find a shotgun, but honestly, we just need to get a good base to start from. This is going to be challenging. Okay. Got it. We're near the two camps. No meds, so let's not go step on a landmine right off the bat. I'm gonna go this way now. Could be another mine sign over here. Yep. So there's there's a couple of differences that I've noticed in the few rounds I have played on single player Tarkov, because this is new to me too. And uh, warning, this is not supported by EFT. They are very bitchy about it. And if they find out that you do it, they can ban you, whatever. Who gives a shit, right? So, um, there's a couple of differences. One, the scabs seem better equipped. They still have their random shitty scab loot and stuff like that, but they're more likely to have like grenades and stuff like that and use them. Uh, secondly, the AI PMCs are easier to kill in a firefight than normal pmcs um, but they're a lot much more difficult to predict at least in my experience because since they're ai they're not following you know the same pathing that you would expect from a person so that at times where an online tarkov i would feel safe and be like okay i can sprint through here. here's a low chance of contact oh wow um not the case not the case Fewer than half, okay, nozzler, but let's, we got to run the UTG on it because I don't have the mount for the ACOG. Wow, okay, freaking streamer start right there, goodness. Ibuprofen, oh my goodness. Oh, come on, am I like cheating over here? What is this? Can't hold on to that, okay. It's kind of a nice, refreshing way to, to play. There you go. Coffee beans. Sprats? Yeah. Pro tip, if you're not already aware, you're going to want to eat and drink as much as you can in the beginning of a wipe. The way it works is your metabolism skill will go up as long as these numbers aren't at 100. 
So let's say we're at 100, but we want to use all this food. I can use humpback as a sacrifice, and it'll bring my hydration down. And that way, when I drink the milk, I will be getting metabolism. That way, you don't have to bypass food. Then now, since I don't have something to drink, I'm not going to eat that. But we got to be careful, because I don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, there is a spawn right here, in case you didn't know. It's an MP5 spawn right there. Where QDC? Shit. Sounded close, yeah? MP9. Uh, the wave you need the adapter for, right? I'm pretty sure this is crossfire. I don't think that vehicle door spawns open for the black SUV because that's the M4 spawn right I would really like to have more than a half mag Come on, come on. STM, okay. No sights, but that is a gun. We're gonna move UTG over to this. Cool, 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 cool. Man, I have to lay down for this. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, whatever, whatever. Someone in comments, let me know why I was fucking that up, please. Damn. Bastion's actually a good look, too. That would be really nice to have. a backpack up here, but we might get an M4 or some more ammo for this gun. Oh, 60 rounder and a QDC. QDC 556, five, so it's not going to fit on what we've got going on now. I can't, I can't even pick up the mag. F. Darn it, okay. At this rate, it's kinda skirt the outskirts, the outskirts, if that makes any sense. And maybe we can catch a scav. Get a backpack and grab some stuff. We might even need to backtrack, but whatever. Wouldn't be like a massive first raid so far, but Still functional, and SCM's not, not bad. I can get ammo for that. Oh, me. Okay, flash drive, that's uh, it's a big deal. I have no way to stop bleeding. So ideally, we would wait until we're kind of close to extract before getting into contact with any scavs. I have noticed those single player Tarkov, they they tend to have meds on them more frequently. And the scavs weapons seem to be uh, more diverse, which is kind of cool.
Okay, let's peek checkpoint. Okay. EMC over there. Two rounds. <laughs> Let's go. Is this guy? Is like a ketter, yeah. That guy is going ham. Uh, with half a mag, is it worth the shot? Get a little closer. Where is this man? Behind the rock, maybe? Concerned he's off right. even land it jesus oh there's a pmc fuck me nope